going on everybody? This is Angling Anarchy. I am Brian and today we're going to talk about something that a lot of people were talking to me about at the Muskie Expos, which we are done with now, so uh, that means spring is on the way. Uh, but I, I wanted to address two different types of baits that I, I think are really easy to tune and a lot of guys have a problem with tuning them for some reason or just don't know how to. So we are going to address the issue of tuning a bucktail and tuning a soft plastic bait. So let's get started with a bucktail. All right, so double-bladed bucktail works by these two blades spinning opposite from one another, creating a vortex behind it, which makes the skirt jump and dance and do all sorts of cool stuff. What happens when a bucktail is out of tune is the entire bait is starting to spin on itself, so much so that this doesn't flare up, it just stays sort of penciled up and, and really skinny. So we have to address the issue of the entire bait spinning. The first thing to do is to tune your clevises. You can keel the bait, and we'll talk about that after the clevises, but the clevises solves 90%, give or take, of the problems I've ever had with a bucktail. And I took a little video earlier, because I don't think this camera is going to focus on it real well, but I took some video of what the clevises normally look like on any bucktail that you're going to buy. They are kicked out from perpendicular just a little bit, and just enough that it creates enough friction to kind of torque the whole bait on itself. So the way we fix that is to very carefully get a pliers in there, and you probably won't be able to see, but just separate the clevises from each other, get in there and use pliers to crimp them down ever so slightly. Be careful though, because if you crunch them, bucktail's kind of toast. So get in there, squeeze the clevises down, and we'll take a little video of what that looks like as opposed to what it did before. Once you get those clevises perpendicular to the shaft of the bucktail, they should spin with the least amount of resistance. It should solve your problem of the bucktail folding in on itself and kind of penciling up. If that doesn't completely fix it, then you can move on to the point where you bend the eye. And what this does is it gives the bait a little bit of a keel, so it'll keep itself from spinning on itself too much. So between those two things, there's not many bucktails you won't be able to fix by performing those two things on it to tune your bucktail. So. That's a bucktail. Let's move on to soft plastics. A lot of guys know how to tune a crankbait. Simple. If it's going to one side, you take the eye hook and pull it away to the other side and you should be able to get it to run nice and true. Soft plastic bait's a little bit different. You don't really want to mess with the eye hook. I mean, you probably could, but I found that there's more you can do than Tweak this. So most plastic baits we're dealing with have obviously the outer soft part, but the inner part is typically a sort of skeleton of wire with a little bit of weight on it, and that's where your hook hangers come out. And so that's what gives the bait a little bit of rigidness. So what we can do is if a bait is either tracking to one side or well let's let's do that. Let's say the bait's tracking to one side. If the bait's constantly going to this side, you can take the entire bait and the, the body of it is maybe about that long. So the, the part of the wire in the bait is about that long. You can bend the entire bait and get that head to go one way or another, and that will usually fix the movement from one side to another. If you have a bait that's rolling on itself, I've found that if you take it and bend the nose down just give the bait a little bit of curvature I don't I'll, I'll overdo it so you can kind of see it maybe this seems to help with the bait rolling so those are two things you can do um, a couple other things I would recommend is if a plastic bait gets stored improperly the best way to store a plastic bait is like this so it can just hang um, and so the tails don't get tweaked or anything. If they get stuck in a box, if they get 
put in one position for too long of a time. These tails can get tweaked and moved off to a side. Now, now the tail is acting like a rudder and pushing the bait off to one side or the other potentially. You could fix that by taking a pot of boiling water, dipping the tails in it quickly, and then hanging the bait and letting it fall back into hopefully its natural state. That's one thing you can do. Another thing you can do, um, which I've, I've done this to a couple baits, if you've got a bait that you just can't seem to fix by tweaking the inner skeleton of the bait, um, you can get shameless plug, handy dandy, little deep threat weights, put it on the front or the bottom of the bait, and again this will keel it and hopefully keep it from rolling on itself. So, hopefully we've addressed two tuning issues on two very popular baits, and instead of a bait not working and you're saying, how oh, the heck with it and just toss it in the corner, you can take that bait, tweak it a little bit, and get it to run just fine. It would be great if every bait came out of its box or package and worked beautifully, and hopefully that's the case with most of them, but every now and again you get one that's just a little funky. And really, with the bucktails, don't monkey with them until they start causing an issue because sometimes that little bit of friction maybe creates a squeak. You know, maybe you have that bucktail that you don't know why, but you catch a lot of fish on it. It may be causing some noise or a squeak or something like that. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But if the bucktail is not looking right and it's not running right in the water, address those clevises because that is going to fix most of your problems. And there you have it. That's how you tune a bucktail, and that is how you tune a soft plastic bait. I hope this was helpful, and I hope that it starts getting warmer out. We just had a day that was sort of spring-like here in southern Wisconsin. It's back down to the mid-30s, but the end is in sight for winter, and we will be getting out on the open water very soon here. And if there's anything you'd like to see this year, leave us a comment below. Um, it's going to be mostly musky fishing, but we'll do some pan fishing, maybe get on the Great Lakes. Obviously, we're doing some dog fishing. We'll get together with the boys from today's angler, and uh, we'll chase some doggies around. So that's that. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like. Hit the subscribe button. Thank you, each and every one of you, for watching. I appreciate the support. I'll see you later. Bye.